All right, I was gonna start filming here in my car at soccer practice again. However, it's like 75 degrees outside and so nice. I think I'm gonna figure out how I can walk around and do this without looking super weird. <laughs> I've never filmed like outside in a public place like this before, so hopefully it's not too awkward. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. There's like a nice, quiet, more secluded part of the path ahead. Let me turn you around to see. Oh, I can't turn you around while I'm filming. Whatever, it's really quiet and pretty, so we're, we're gonna go this way. Oh, did you hear that? As a woodpecker. That was so cool. I hope I, I hope it picked up the sound. All right, so here we go. It's beautiful outside. We're gonna take this out here and go for a walk. <laughs> there it is again. So cool. As I'm sure you are well aware, <laughs> everyone on YouTube and Instagram and all over the place, they're all doing their curriculum pick videos, okay? And so I was fixing to do that myself and share with you what I want to use next year. However, <laughs> As you probably noticed in my science picks video where we're brainstorming science together, I, I'm just really undecided. I started thinking, what if we just don't do any science at all next year? Is that crazy? Is that crazy to just do no science for anyone? So there are a few reasons that I think we may actually just skip science all together next year. And uh, I'll share those in just a minute. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. My name is Cassie and we are wrapping up our sixth year of homeschooling. I have two kiddos ages uh, nine and 12 years old. So we're just getting our feet wet with middle school and that has been a blast. But so for next year, okay, let me just get into it. <laughs> Here are some reasons why I think maybe we will just not do science next year. First of all, my 12 year old, my middle schooler, is for whatever reason, just completely uninterested in science. Like anything I have shown to her or suggested as a possibility, she has just completely ignored. I just realized I'm kind of close to this water and it's uh, gator mating season here in Florida. So I'm a little bit nervous. You know what, I should probably get educated. I don't actually know what to do if you see a gator. Do you know, do you know what to do if you see an alligator? Run away fast? Okay, I think we're good. We're a little farther away <laughs> from the water. Can you see it? Anyway, getting totally distracted. 12 year old, not motivated at all to learn anything about science. I think she's just over it this year. Um, with the biology that we've been doing, it's a little bit rigorous, a little bit heavy, um, especially when she wasn't super interested in it. So there's that. And then my nine-year-old, <laughs> he enjoys science. However, it, it's been kind of slow this year. And I think a lot of that has to do with that, the real science odyssey physics level one that we're doing with him. Uh, it's, you know, it's teacher intensive, you know, I have to do the labs with him and, you know, go through the reading with him. I think that just kind of bogged us down because he had to wait until I was available. He had to wait to do it with me and he just kind of wanted to get done with his day, you know, but I realized that for him, he has actually covered all of the major science topics. Okay, he's already covered life science. He did, basically we've done all the level one sciences from Real Science Odyssey for him. Uh, my daughter did not do physics because she did her own thing this year, but he has done all of them. So I noticed what a lot of people do, a lot of curriculum companies do for middle school science is they kind of like touch on all those sciences again and do like a general science that covers everything for a couple of years. So because that may be what we wind up doing when he gets closer to middle school, I'm thinking like maybe taking a year off of science for him wouldn't be the end of the world, especially if he's not like really gung-ho about any particular science topic, which he's not. So why not just, you know, take a year off? Another problem <laughs> is that we had some time issues this year. Uh, we got a much later start on school than we normally do. We normally start like early July-ish. And because of our move from Texas to Florida, we didn't start till like the end of August. So that was a lot of time that we, you know, didn't get to work on our stuff. And um, 
with both science courses, they kind of took longer than they probably normally would have. I don't know if it was them or the RV or me, <laughs> but regardless, they're not going to finish their science this year, which is totally fine with me. I don't even care. Uh, we'll just pick it back up where we left off after the summer break. So if we're doing that anyway, I don't see us picking up a whole another science curriculum after we're done with those. So with my son, I'm thinking if he is done with his physics and he has something else he's interested in, maybe we can do like unit study style stuff, you know? Sorry, I had to wait for some folks to pass. <laughs> anyway, this is just something that came up when I was brainstorming uh, what my plans are for next year. And we've never not done a main subject like science. <laughs> So it makes me feel a little weird to just be like, yeah, fine, we'll do no science next year. But you know, the other thing is, it's gonna free up a lot of time for us. Uh, <laughs> as much as I love science, okay, I love science. As much as I love it, I think it was one of the more time intensive things that we did. And you know, you have to have all your materials and things organized and it takes a little bit of planning and work. Without that commitment already, it might free up a lot more time to focus on some other skills that we're working on. My son especially, my nine-year-old, is not behind. I don't know. I don't even have anything to compare it to. <laughs> but he, his writing skills, I think, need a little boost. Um, so it would be nice to be able to focus more time next year on helping him, you know, giving him the, the individual help he needs with that and maybe focusing on less on something that we don't really need. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you ever just completely drop a subject because there's no interest or you just haven't found something that you think would be perfect? If you found this entertaining or useful or helpful in some way, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find my videos a little bit easier. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss out when I finally do share my curriculum picks. Those videos are gonna come up real soon. I also have uh, something kind of big planned in the next month or so. I'll start rolling out a, like a planning series. So if you're new to homeschooling or you feel like you're stuck in a rut and you need some help kind of getting organized, stay tuned for that because I'm gonna help walk you through how I go from one year to the next and the steps that I take and the planning process to get us ready for a new school year. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye. Oh, it's windy going this direction. <laughs>